Welcome to the bench. Today, I thought we would spin us up a scorpion out of copper wire. I kind of, this is kind of the electrical equivalent to trench art in the, in the World Wars, where, where the guys, you got a little extra time sometime, or you're at the house. Anyway, it's a good way to, you know, we, we twist wires for a living, so it's a good way to, to you know, keep sharp and kind of get in touch with your artsy fartsy side. Anyway, you, I stripped a cable out here, and these are roughly about number 14. And I cut 16 of them 14 inches long. So that's a good place to go to. Now, what you do, and, and let me add this. I'm sure there are as many ways to build wire sculpture as there are electricians. So, you know, my way is not exactly the, maybe the best way or whatever, but this is what works for me, and this is the way I was taught to do it. But what we try to do is is get these built with their, with nothing but our tool bags. So there are good ways to straighten wire <clears throat> with drills and and uh, you know you can t pull one on a vise and twist it with a drill and it gets pretty straight. But the best thing we found out in the field is to grab you some pliers, some of these lineman pliers here. and get a pop on just pop it like that see how straight that is that's straight enough you have to straighten all the wires up like that so you end up with 16 pretty straight pieces of about number 14 wire 14 inches long divide them in half you need eight and eight eight for the body eight for the legs you can make the leg ones a little shorter if you want but I don't I always I have in the past made them too short and regretted doing that. What I like to do is take eight of them real quick and just tie them, just tie them together. I've got this bread tie here on the bench. Just tie them together so they, down at one end here, so they just kind of stay together. You want to take these other eight and bend them roughly in half where the ends meet like that. Tighten this up a little bit down here. The thing to do is take these, you want them to be the same direction every time. So drop it on your on your body part here. <laughs> and then we're going to make this side go around to the front. What I'll call the front. We got to do this to all these. So do, it's important that these are all. If you look at the way it's built here, it's important that they all do the same thing. All right, got her done. I want you all to notice, please, that if you see the way they're wound, this one is coming across and over and this wire this side of it is in front of this side you get a good shot here see what I'm saying that doesn't necessarily have to be that direction but they all have to be the same direction when you get them all twisted on like that go about as you look at the way it's wound on these you need a little more back here than you do up here so what is that, 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever it is. That's about right, maybe something like that. Squeeze them together. Now what you do is, this very first wire here, kind of keep those guys contained the best you can. Take this first wire here and go this way, like this, to the back one. Go underneath, get it kind of keep them squeezed the best you can. 
go underneath and like that. Underneath and like that. Then alternately do that. So this one here, same piece of wire as this one, will go this way underneath and back. Now start with the very next one. You want to keep this wire, the wire that we're getting ready to bend, you want to keep it underneath this wire here. And you want to do that every time you do it. Keep it kind of tied up there. So it went underneath. This one here, same deal. Next, this other half of that, keep it tight as you can underneath. Do that until you have them all wound. Now, divide them up into pairs the way that you braided them on there. So, pair, 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 first two, second, first pair, second pair, third pair, fourth pair. What you want to do now is twist these pairs up. You can, of course, take your lineman pliers here and twist them up if you wanted to, but I cheat. Myself, I use a pair of these guys. Twist all the legs like that in pairs. When you're through twi uh, twisting the legs up, that's what you end up with right there. Some scorpion legs. We'll we'll fix them up and bend them later. Now it's time to remove this little tie. You don't need any more because that's tied right there. So just remove this guy here, and we'll start on the tail. So what I do is start with, you start with a single wire. You move his legs out of the way. You can always bend this stuff the way you want it later. But I start like this and take a wire and twist it tight, a tight little coil right here. Try to make it tight and close as you can. When you get down to the end where it's trying to make you bleed right there, just take your lineman pliers and finish it off. Like that. Now just take another one. I always try to grab them toward the top and do it again. Leave a little gap right there like it's going to naturally do. Leave two. Don't wind up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Had eight, had eight wires. Six of them. Leave two. All right. 
let's make his little stinger now. The way I do it is just kind of get it bent like that. Get your needle nose and work it around. Kind of semi like that shape. what I do and then come around here one time like that and trim that pretty close as close as you can maybe something like that then take this I always make me a stinger right there. Then you can start to bend this and shape it how you want it. You could even tighten this up a little bit if you wanted to. Like that. There he is. All right. I've been videoing this between rainstorms. My workshop. My workbench here is out in a in a metal building so forgive the background noise but let's separate the front end we've got the legs and we got the tail and we got the body now the front end is going to have eight wires of course so we got two for one pinch your arm two for the other these will be the eyeballs and then what we're going to do is cut these extras off about even just whatever as long as they're about even so what you do on the arms is just wind them up Just twist them up and leave some out on the end to make your pinchers. Now take the one of these wires that's closest to you, closest to this arm, and just wind it around like we did the tail right here. Keep it tight as you can. Just wind that around like that. Now let's bend up some pinchers. I always just kind of start however you want to, just like pinchers, I reckon. Now let's do the eyes. Cut it off kind of short. Just wind them up with your round noses or your needle noses or whatever you got. Doesn't matter. As long as you can wind up a little eye there. Both sides. Now what I do on the legs is bend them up and then over, up and over. Now 
and then figure out how you want to try to set. There he is. Enjoy. See you next time.